time, I think, is one of the hardest things to deal with out here. I think. Too much time, isn't Too it? Too much time. And knowing how many days we've got left is a long, long time. Mm. Knowing that you can't be at home seeing your friends. You can't... You I'm know. here, though. Yeah. But, you know, just time out here. Because, like, you know... In conversation, like... We will definitely, or oh, we already start. We're already starting to run out of yeah. things to chat. About. No, that, that, that's not an issue. Anything. That's not yeah. even a thing at the moment. But like, it's just the time of being out here. Now you've got so much time away from people at home. That's the biggest killer. See, I don't mind that. Build it. You don't mind it being away from people. No, like you know, I love I love seeing different parts of the world. So you know. Yeah. And this is this is what you know. I like, I like this. You know, it's just trying to fill your day. That's that's the bit I don't like. Yeah. You don't have any. Uh, today has sort of been like, what do we do? Because like we're preparing for the big trek tomorrow, so yeah, it's a bit of a slow day. But I know what you mean. I just. But even then, the trek is like. Yeah. We don't know what the what the outcome of the trek is. Yeah. I suppose. As much as I want to be out here, I also want to be at home, relaxing, just <laughs> chilled out, you know? Want to have, like, have a good night's sleep for the first time, all that yeah. kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. it's hard to know how you're going to kind of adapt from being out here to going back home. Because out here, you're sleeping in the mud, you're getting wet, you're drinking most likely dirty steam water. Yeah. It's good easy to make you sick, drinking berries. We're, we are unsure about their origin and how good they are. Yeah. And out in the sun, but it's just us two naked, and it's just like, how do you kind of adapt back to like the kind of more clinical England where everything's taken care of, all foods, all foods and wrappers, all waters purified from the highest mountains of the yeah. Scottish Highlands, and how you adapt back to that kind of life? Are you jumping in the tube to get to work? Mm -hmm. uh, just doing like a nine to six. I think that just, that will all be pleasures though, won't it? Like. You know, these are all kind of things that this this is going back really back to basics. Yeah. You know, sort of hunter gatherer kind of. You know, what, what humans yeah. were put on the earth to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all all them little things that like having the tube at one stage was a pleasure. You yeah. Know? Like it was, and now it's sort of all this all this stuff. You know, food already prepared for you. Know, it's it's yeah. all stuff that we take for granted. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's the thing I was gonna say, man. Just not taking it for granted, baby. But it's hard to adapt. It's hard to adapt. When I've been inside, is it? It's hard to adapt to come back here, or to come back, go back to England. Yeah. You kind of want more. You want more out of your life. Yeah. To kind of do something like this, and you don't want to be in the same monotonous day-to-day -day yeah, life. Yeah. Day-to-day life. Yeah. I see you. I feel you. What's like your plans? What's your plans after? Well, I'm gonna come back and go travelling around Asia. Yeah. Sort of about two months after this, yeah. How much time are you going to spend naked in the jungle? None. None? Yeah. We're in clothes? Or, or whether I go to the jungle, yeah. I'm not sure yet. We're in clothes, a bit of a bourgeois I will, idea. I will, I will come to Malaysia though, I think. Yeah. And see it as a tourist. Go back to Hotel Central. Hotel Central. Time. Yes. Big up. Nice. <laughs> um, you know, I'd like to see a little bit more of Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't seen any of it, to be honest. Yeah. We've been at the airport, I think it's a good taxi. And then, yeah, that that would be quite cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, I think I want to see a bit more of other parts of Asia. See Leighton? Yeah, see Leighton, see Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Um go see the world and find out what I really want to do yeah. with my life yeah it's good to be out because the time you get you get to think about different stuff and like how you want to proceed with your life and see mm. what really interests you to your core yeah which you won't get which is not sales yeah which isn't sales <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do to be honest yeah my job, my job is fine but at a certain point it's just you know you want more yeah you want more than just being another kind of person, kind of a uh, working in an office essentially. Like yeah. More, yeah. More than just the same life that everybody else has, you know. 
because that's sort of like as if your life's been pre-written which is you know you you're born you go to school get go to uni um, you then get a job you get a mortgage you get kids you know it's like everyone's life is on the same yeah. same cycle it's, it's not too much of the same stuff but everybody's doing the same thing just do something you need and everyone that so gets to like 50 is just hates their life and you yeah. know you know questions the choices that they've made yeah you know you know i want to wake up every day like where like it's different out here like you wake up every day you don't know what the day is gonna throw yeah. you and i like that i really do like that and you get that freedom as well free yeah. to do whatever you want yeah no time time doesn't matter it's the only time that matters to us like it doesn't matter what it goes by the clock it matters by the uh, weather, yeah. you know, sun or night, like rain. That's what time is to us now. Mm. Uh, I don't know what, what I want to do when I get back. I don't know. Probably end up just chasing a girl, so that <laughs> player. So more inter so interesting, but I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Proves there's more to life than what, wherever city you're in, though, doesn't it? Okay. Because you wouldn't be able to imagine that you would be out in a jungle. Hmm. Would you? You'd never have predicted that. You would that. That's not in anyone's life plan, and says so. No. Like, you would not have predicted you'd be out here naked. No. But you are, and that shows how predictable it can be if you put that effort in. If you kind of put good energy out in the world, then good stuff will hopefully come back to you. Yeah, you man. don't put out good energy, well, you can't expect anything good to happen. Very philosophical, that, Dan. Yeah. Do I think about cooling down? I'm actually pretty cool, to be I'm, fair. I want to cool down, but... Sitting on this rock. Drop my kit and get into there to cool down. What well, body temperature you might be able to see on a thermal imaging camera is quite hot. So I'll take it off. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put this hand out of the water because it is gonna get infected. I'm gonna put it down as possible. Oh, I can help you already see my body temperature dropping on that thermal image. But this will help. And I've dropped my core temperature for a bit. And it is quite hot and humid inside this jungle. It's nice, it's nice. So, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble today um, with the heel of my foot. Um, all that pounding on the stone didn't help. And then yesterday, I stood on a real sharp, sharp rock. Um, it's just sent sort of a shudder right the way through my ankle and up my leg, which means every time I put pressure, I don't know if you can see, but you might most probably can't, every time I put pressure on the heel of my foot, it's caused me a very lot of discomfort and pain. Um, hopefully it'll get better, because we, we, we have a day of trekking tomorrow. A day for pretty much a, a day, a long time of trekking. And it's very difficult. And with no shoes, I'm very yeah. much not looking forward to that. Yeah, so yeah, just like a, you're in this jungle, but it's almost like you're not here at the same time. In a sense, that it's hard to kind of explain. But uh, yeah, you kind of, I'm standing here right now, but my mind is not working at its full amount, so my senses aren't really working completely, so I'm, com I'm not really completely aware of what's here to be honest and uh, yeah it feels a bit maybe because it feels so surreal uh, compared to being in England I guess but it's definitely a it's an odd feeling and it doesn't feel like I'm here it feels like we're in a TV show at the moment mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't feel like normal ish too much but oh well you only live once you get one chance uh, yeah 
Yeah. So we, what we have to do now is fix problems with our shelter. Uh, it's just to make up for the fact that yesterday we need, or twice, it was too small. So yesterday, um, with Dan being out, out of action with one hand, I took it upon myself to sort of try and crack on with our shelter while Dan tried to uh, do the fire. Um, this was as good as I could get it at the time. Um, but it's very cramped. Um, and we learned last night that it wasn't as watertight as we wanted, was it, Dan? Yeah, we got off lucky because it wasn't a heavy rain. It was definitely not a heavy rain last night. Uh, so that kind of played in our favour. But we will need to... Uh, Add more leaves to it because the problem with these leaves is that they're not big leaves in this kind of a uh, area around here you don't often see big leaves that will keep it kind of uh, watertight with these small leaves it took us from one leaf onto another and then onto us uh, eventually yeah uh, but we'll have to kind of do that but uh, we did have the issue of it being too tight yeah we were kind of squirming around in there and but it was too late to kind of fix anything last night but uh, the advantage there is that it was a bit warmer than normal but at the same time, it was extremely uncomfortable to uh, sleep in, and it was very, it's got like we'd kind of nudge into each other, like I'd wake up from a dream, and I'd jolt into James, James goes, oh, you kind of jolted into me, I was like, what? Because, you know, I've just woken up from just a slight dream. But, uh, yeah, the dreams are there to look forward to every night, though. <laughs> That's literally the only escape out of it, your dreams. Yeah. And then you realise, you kind of get hints in your dreams that something's not right. Uh, it could be dry in the mouth, it could be something like that, you could feel wet. You could even be camping in your dream and you realise that you actually are in the jungle and you wake up uh, from the kind of false reality. Uh, but, you know, it's what we deal with. But yeah, look, I love the dreams. I love the dreams. But sleeping's hard. You don't get steady sleep. You wake up, you go to sleep, you wake up, you go to sleep. It's very quick and it's not a good night's sleep. But That's why we have to do? start going to sleep so early because yeah. we almost start going to sleep as soon as the sun goes down, which is about 7 o'clock and it doesn't. Yeah come up until about seven yeah um it's just 12 hours almost that we're trying to fill with sleep um exactly that you're never going to get perfect sleep when you're trying to in, in it for 12 hours because you know once it starts raining you got to be in your shelter and once you're in your shelter you can't really do anything yeah. other than rest and fall to sleep but yeah. you know something we deal with uh yeah we should get on in uh fixing it ready for a kind of hiking tomorrow That's it. How small it is on the inside. As you can tell, it's not very big. But yeah, um, we learned a lot and now to make a load of amendments to it. But, uh, as you can see, so you want to come here, you can see each other's bug bites. We were absolutely marauded by ants uh, yesterday, or uh, well, last night. Uh, all over our whole body is absolutely kind of destroyed. I'm going to show you some here. Get into the light there. One of the main parts is the back. The back has been absolutely destroyed. He's also got a sunburn on the back of his neck. Oh, yeah, something just fell down there. Okay, you can see mine as well. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely bitten up. Just constant bites, but uh, that's something which we have to deal with as we are sleeping on the floor. Obviously, a solution to that would be to make a raised shelter, but there's a few issues with that. First off, is the temperature. Uh, we haven't been able to start a fire yet, which means if you had a raised shelter, we're going to lose more heat because of the uh, drafts coming from underneath uh, and we don't have a fire so that's going to be an issue and being cold at night is terrible and also the fact that we are moving from this uh, site tomorrow so kind of putting all that energy into making a raised shelter which could take a whole day but maybe even two days uh, dependent that would you know would be too much for us to do and if we are if this is only a temperature shelter then we have to kind of you know mend and make do and see what you know see what happens but uh yeah, it's probably it's not really feasible to race shutter right now. We don't have uh, the time, the energy to do it. We have to kind of accept the uh, bites 
unfortunately. Also, the resources around us are, aren't good enough either. We don't have enough vine. Um, these are the kind of uh, trees that we're using, yeah. which actually tend to snap very easily yeah. once you've cut them once. Um, and and the leaf situation where the leaves aren't big enough. Yeah. Like we can bet. Look at look at the amount of leaves we have here. And that doesn't keep us dry. Uh, doing that with a, like a very shelter, it's gonna be an even bigger issue. But yeah, we should probably crack on and start uh, making our shelter more waterproof. Okay, so yesterday, and we kind of came down to this stream, we managed to find us some uh, berries. We didn't want to eat them then because we are kind of too busy focusing on water and there was kind of no hurry to do it, but now we've got kind of more of a day uh, open, then uh, we're gonna give them a try out. See them right there. There's quite a few, which would be quite useful. The main issue is whether they are kind of poisonous or not, whether they're going to be harmful to us to actually eat. Okay, so I'm going to do our tests on it. So I'm going to take down, take one down. Okay, first test will be to a. Uh, Put it on our skin, see what happens. See if anything happens, just give it a smell. They're never gonna be that poisonous, so really doing a skin test isn't too important. Let me give it a taste. Just on the tongue. Just sit down on the tongue. If I feel any tingling or numbness, then that will be uh, obviously poisonous, most likely. But let it rest on there, see what happens. Not feeling any road effects. There's a seed in there, and of course eat the seed as well. Okay, so yeah, it didn't feel like there's any kind of tingling sensation. Uh, there's nothing kind of wrong with it. Uh, we're going to give it a bit of time before we eat some more. There's yeah. no need to hurry. Uh, and we'll see uh, if there's any kind of ill effects. If not, we can kind of eat these and uh, kind of uh, have a feast tonight, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You can leave it there and uh, yeah, see what happens in the meantime. I'm happy to... Uh, Drink some more, uh, eat some more of those berries, mate, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? Um, yeah. It could be too early to tell. It's probably yeah. too. I might, I might leave it a little bit. Mm. Um, see what happens. And then they feel right. They taste fine to us. What do they taste like? A bit sweet, slightly sweet, nothing too sweet, but it's slightly sweet. Well, you want to start eating them? Mm. I'd even see it just for soaking my stomach. Mm. 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 It's your call. Mm. We won't know until later, really, will we? Yeah, but also, I kind of need something in the stomach. They're all gone. What are you going to eat them all? Mm -hmm. You need to eat, you, uh, they're all here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Don't taste of anything really, do they? They haven't got like a strong taste, but like anything that's grown in the wild without any help is always never going to taste amazing. It's not like all food nowadays. Mm. There's just so much evolution gone to it through, you know, selective breeding. Mm. I say you get really tasty bananas. They never used to be tasty. True fact. Yeah. Remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, man. Yeah. Yeah. And in our case, if this doesn't kill us, it will make us stronger. Yeah. So strong to tackle tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of we got a lot of trekking to do tomorrow. So we're really gonna have to kind of go in hard, I guess. Go in very hard. This will be closest to our biggest, this is be, be, be our biggest meal. All I've had is a lizard, a few ants, a worm, and then this. Yep. A bit mouldy. 
one's open. That's that one's open as well. Bon appetit. So, um, after Dan eating some of the berries, um, we've both decided that um, there's no real effect, but we won't really tell until later. But this being our only food source, we've decided that we both will go ahead and eat the berries. So, yeah. Tuck in, as they say. It reminds you of home, doesn't it? I do have something to chew on. Yeah. Zoom out a bit. Zoom out. Ah, look at that. Well, it's going to poison me, or it's just going to sustain me. I guess so. Mate, in a second, can you grab a bunch for me that around there, yeah? Can you not get it? I can get it. I just don't want to slip. So it'd just be easier for you can to you just... Can you pull the bottoms? Pun? So I'll get it, I'll get it. You can have these if you want. Yeah. Get some more. There you go, mate. Oh, that's Ch it. That's it, man. Up there, what yesterday? Yeah, stupidly, I can't remember, can't remember where they are exactly. That one's not right. Sometimes, un sometimes unripe food can make you sick. Anyway. That's why I threw it away. Nice. They don't taste great, do they? No, mate. Well, survival isn't really meant to taste great anyway, so. Tastes good, it ain't survival. So there we go, just gonna smash all these at once, might as well. They're actually nice when you have them all at once, you get like a certain amount of juice in them. Really seedy. Oh yeah, very seedy. You get left after them all, you get just a bunch of just broken up seeds inside your mouth. It's like eating a deflated grape. Absolutely lovely. I'm getting just short of that. Have you got the water, mate? Now it's time to wash it down with a nice old brew of water.
There you go, mate. Yeah. It wasn't washed down the seats. It just like left in your mouth. Yeah, you don't want any more poison berries? Taste or? I'm not sure what you said. Oh, okay. No. <clears throat> this is like that movie Inside Out. I certainly sing, sing into praise to have at least some work to do. <laughs> Finally, they've got, a, they've got a job. Yeah, man. Whether it's good or bad, whether it makes you sick or whether it doesn't, uh, you know. Shit happens, man. Yeah, and this is other times we won't shit ourselves, we literally we will end up uh, vomiting. vomiting. It's not like we die. Yeah, it's not like Every time I get up now, every time I stand up, yeah. every time I stand up, I feel lightheaded. Do you think that's just down to the lack of food there, Daniel? Ah, uh, yes, that's the lack of food and they're not always a good, not a great amount of water. Just the blood. to your head. What's the lack of blood pumping into the head? It's the general exhaustion. Mm. Can you see any more left? No. I think that's it, that's our berry sauce done. Well, at least for next time when we holiday here in the year, I don't know, 2025, yeah. at least you know where to find some potentially poisonous uh, berries. Yep. You know, hit us up. We've got great shelter here, willing to put it on Airbnb for yeah. a reasonable price. We're chucking free berries. Free you know, water that's, as that's, well. That's a great B&B, that. Plus it's very scenic. Can you see any more? There's a little tree up the top there. So it like only had like one little branch on it. Oh, any berries on there? Like about five berries. Right. So by the time you exhaust all your energy to get up there. It's like a worth the calorie expense, expense no. isn't it? No. Is it? I think there's something to be said about having uh, food or something inside the stomach there. Yeah, man. Pump it in. Time to cut though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just the way we're walking around just feels so different to how we were on the first day. Yeah. It's such a slow, you don't want to move your body too fast. I think yeah. maybe that like, probably conserves energy a bit nicer actually, thinking about it moving slowly and deliberately, but this, that lack of energy just. I just jumped over this on the first day. Yeah.
everyone's more aware of how slippery it can be. Careful with your hand as well, man. Get all the berries? Ah, I think so. Where are they? Yeah, there we go. See that little of them? I don't know how that will end up to be. No, it looks a bit white. Time to get in your belly! Yeah. It's a lot of food, isn't it? That is a lot of food. Mate, this. That is a lot. Apparently that can make a full Ribena, that. Oh, uh, dropped a cup. Oh. Would you give that meal a Michelin star then, Dan? No? I'm getting a refund on that meal. You can get a refund? I'm, getting, I'm going straight to the manager. Oh, mate. The manager's not in. It's just going all the way to the top to the White House. Oh, I'm mate. getting back Obama involved. Oh mate. I'm bringing in all the guns. That's bad man. That, that's a bad meal. Surely it can't be that bad. You've gone back for second, third, fourth. I went yeah. with uh, twice. My decision to eat those, I went with, with my gut. But my gut was hungry. So. Cheers. No, how am I going to be trusted? Seal the door a bit more. Uh, yeah. That could be an issue. Even if, uh, get the back a bit. If it means to stay a bit warmer. Uh, I'm going to focus it mostly on her head and backs. Yeah. Feet never, legs never feel anything. Anything else? Done. Is that it? Yeah. Is there any more leaves? I mean, yeah. Sweet. Nice. This camera's ability to film in low light is so good. We are probably probably about uh, about a week into Malaysia. Pretty much, we left on Friday. We left England on Friday from Heathrow, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of been good Friday morning today. Very soft. So almost hitting up a week. Uh, so that means about two weeks left of being in Malaysia. Also, uh, it's going good. Uh, we made a shuttle last night, which uh, didn't work perfectly, but we kind of today just improved it today. It's still a bit cramped in there, but it's going to stay warm. We've kind of blocked up half of the door as well. We've kind of added a lot more leaves to help waterproof it, but uh, yeah. But it'd be nice as well if it's quite a short rainstorm as well uh, tonight. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing to leave now but to kind of sleep yeah. and see what happens yeah, and uh, yeah. kind of nice. ride out the bug bites, which will always happen regardless. But yeah, feeling good about tonight. Hope you have some good dreams. So here's what a uh, new humble boat looks like. A lot, a lot softer. 
a lot drier it looks and we'll see uh, how it feels tonight it's still gonna get bitten by bugs and ants and mosquitoes but it's better than it was it's an improvement uh, just a bit earlier today in Otongo we found ourselves a worm and found uh, a beetle as well something worth eating are you interested in a beetle at all? yeah it's only one person bite to be honest yeah uh, do you want to do it? do you want the worm or the beetle? I'll take Cool. How's it taste? What, mate? Country. Nice, nice. It's the worms for me. One up a tea. How does that taste? Very gritty. Very gritty. But, but probably better than beetle. Hey, so. It's all about the beetle juice though mate, all about the beetle juice. Let's move on and uh, get some water. Yep. Ah, it's got to swallow it sometimes, I think that's probably the best move. This water is a bit dirty, you can see it's a lot more brown than we'd want it to be. She's going to make her way down to the water hole, or the water stream. Fill up water, kind of drink as much as we can because we've got a quite a hard day of trekking going on tomorrow. And it's going to take it all out of us. As you can kind of tell our energy levels are very low. We're kind of moving quite slowly. So what I'm going to do is I pour, get a load of water into this um, stale stainless can. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is to filter it. Filter okay. it through one of our microphone. I don't know what it. Like that, so it can at least take away some of the dirt, some of the bacteria. It's most probably not the best thing to do, but we we were doing it yesterday. And it tasted all right, didn't it, Dan? Yeah. The only thing is, it takes a very very long time. I think we'd better to collect it from there Pardon? before it gets into this rocky pool when it gets a bit cloudy. We better to collect it from there, a bit more clean, I guess. Like maybe a bit more. From there. Yeah, from there. <laughs> So obviously any kind of rock pool, that water could be a bit older, to be honest. I've just spent quite a bit of time uh, drinking some of this uh, stream water and I'm hoping it's going to leave my urine as pale. Let's see. Uh, still yellowish, but it's a lot better than it was the other day. So now I'll just drink some more water. Another attempt at another... Uh, urination period. Let's see. That's clear. That is clear urine. That is very clear urine. That is great news. That is great news. Ha. Huh. I made it. Cheers. Join the club now. I made it. <laughs> clear urine out in the jungle. What a dream. What a dream. Just recording. James urinating or trying to urinate. There you go. A nice clear stream, nice and healthy. There's so many bugs everywhere. Not good, not good, not good. One's even a bit of my ball bag, which is never a good sign. So I've just brought myself away, away from, away from the camp. I kind of want to make a sort of video diary along with this journey. So this is going to be my first, first sort of video for this. We're now very deep into the jungle, and you know it's it's, it's been a definite struggle along the way, both physically and mentally. Physically, day one was a lot easier than yesterday. I found just because we we had the clothes. <laughs> my feet took a battering yesterday on the stone. I don't really like things touching the soles of my feet, so I found that pretty much torture. But there has has been some positives from coming this deep. Obviously, we found found the water, which you know is really useful. It seems very drinkable. We are filtering it. The only thing is, we can't seem to get a fire going to filter it that little bit more. And 
to make it purer but it's, it's not upset us yet and it's not given us like any sort of upset stomach or anything like that so we are just carrying on drinking it but in term, terms of physically yesterday building that shelter it took a lot out of me a lot of energy so I've woken up today pr pretty pretty exhausted and quite glad that we're not sort of trekking today because we are thinking of trekking tomorrow to to go find this river because the one thing we haven't found around here is any food source which is which is a major issue you know we've got bugs but nothing bigger than that and we need to find food because eventually we will start start to starve but in terms of like last night uh, you know the sleep the sleeps here you know are not very comfortable they're long old nights so it starts at about seven o'clock when it starts to rain then it gets pretty dark pretty qu quickly after that and then you're sort of just stuck in the shelter and it was very cramped in that shelter last night we were in there for about 12 hours don't know how many hours of that we actually slept you know it's very cozy the good thing about that is that we were warmer last night than the night before today is more about just you know trying to stock up on water re-energize a little bit for tomorrow we're going to try and trek quite early when when the first light breaks and then try and find that river and then potentially we might move that shelter down to there and rebuild shelter there knowing that if if we've got a food source and a fresh water then we can potentially get that it's a shame that we couldn't get the fire going yesterday because i think that would have boost morale a little bit but in terms of now it's just about you know keeping a positive mental attitude and you know you know plowing on which is what we plan to do it's yeah. very cold very cold um, not much protection from the rain to be fair fair bit to honest I can't say it's not much I'm, I'm not getting off I'm getting, fuck all I'm getting wet on me I'm getting completely wet, soaked in. Um, then seems to be a bit drier. Um, James, you got to focus the, the camera so yeah, face someone. There you go, keep going. It might be because we focus more on his side when redoing the shower, which, which means that my side getting a bit wetter. Um, but hey ho, life goes on. Mm. Plus the rain only sticks around for about one to two hours yeah so hopefully this will subside soon and then we can crack on and go to sleep but for now we just have to grow and bear it it's handy just because uh the rain kind of puts the mosquitoes away and the bugs away uh for a bit so it's pretty uh i don't think it's too it's not too bad uh all swings and roundabouts we've uh, sealed up the door slightly i say sealed up 50 percent maybe 20 percent even that but it's better than nothing, and it's keeping. I feel like the heat stay inside here, rather than escaping. Uh, so that should uh, bode well for tonight, once it stops raining.